Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. How we came upon this house was the um, daughter and son of the owner contacted us. The mother and one of the sisters, or the, her daughter, was living in this home. Uh, the mother died and the daughter died as well. They think the mother just died of natural causes, probably from the environment, and then the daughter probably committed suicide right after that. So both of their bodies were found in the home. Uh, they weren't decomposed or anything. They were found like a day or two later. Uh, so they, uh, the rest of the family saw the home and the condition that it was in and uh, they didn't want anything to do with it. So they called me originally for um, a clean out quote and then uh, we kind of negotiated a sale. So I purchased this property. Uh, we closed on it last week and uh, we are in the process of cleaning it out now. I think it's gonna be about a two week process to clean it out and then uh, the rehab portion will start. And the rehab on this house is gonna be substantial. He's actually cleaning his... Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he looks clean. He's taking a bath. Uh, Juan, what are their names? Uh, Pedro and Pablo. Yeah, Pedro and Pablo. They're the supervisors today. Yeah. What the oh, fuck? No, that. Get it, Juan. Get it. Whoa. I don't love my job anymore. <laughs> Spread out more, cheaters. Cheaters, get the fuck out. I'm just here for the deal. Like a quick drop. Oh, yeah. You can do it like a quick drop from a gun. Yeah, there you go. So when you see one, just kill. Oh, there, get that one. What one? Get that one. That's too big for this. No, it's not. Get it. Oh. Get it, get it. You got it. Yes. Fuck yeah, that works. I know, I know. No juices on it. No juices on it. No way. Still with your foot. I bought this house. I'm not sure why. I will make it beautiful, but it might kill me in the process. Hello. Stop trashing my house. Hello. We are here at the Winter Haven property and we are doing a checkup on the status of the renovation. And as you can see, we've got a ton of raw wood here and uh, the electricians are running all the wire. Wow! This is incredible! Look at this! Laura Spaulding here in Winter Haven at the Pet Cemetery House. We are so close to having a brand new tenant in it, but we are cosmetically ready and I wanted to show you what we've got going on in this beautiful house. So behind me, you can see brand new paint, brand new landscaping, a giant trimmed oak tree and a brand new metal roof. All right, we are inside the Pet Cemetery house. I am standing in the middle of the living room and Sammy is over by where all the pet cages were stacked up. If you remember correctly, there was a dead mummified cat by this window right here. So what we've done in this room, have repaired all the walls, We've put in new window treatments. I've added a mini split air conditioning, of course, brand new fans and lighting and fantastic flooring with brand new baseboards as well. I can't wait to show you the rest of the house. The next room was formerly the master bedroom. This was the bedroom where the two previous owners passed away in. This particular bedroom took us two days to clean out. Follow me. So if you remember correctly, the crew and I were standing on top of a mountain of trash where we took a picture and we posted it on our Instagram. This room had a giant transformation, brand new window treatments, new floors, new baseboards, new closet doors, and of course new paint and smoke alarms. 
This room was a mountain of work because of all the hoarding that went on in here. Now I'm gonna show you bedroom two. If you remember correctly, this is the bedroom where we could not even get inside. We had to remove the bedroom door and force our way through the trash. Kyle and I also sledded down the mountain of trash in this particular room. It took us over a day just to clean out this small bedroom. Follow me and I'll show you what we did. So I'm standing in the middle of what used to be a mountain of trash. This room had a huge transformation because we had to gut the plaster walls to be able to run the new electrical wire in here. We also put brand new baseboards, of course doors, closet doors, window treatments, and paint. This room took a long time. So if you remember, I was really adamant about keeping the integrity and the age of the house, which included these cabinets that are built in. They don't make that stuff anymore. So what we did is sanded them, painted them, and put some new hardware on here. These are fantastic, deep, real wood cabinets that provide a ton of storage for these two bedrooms and this bathroom. Take a look at this amazing bathroom transformation. This was one of the worst rooms in the entire house. The bathtub was being used not only by the cats, but by the humans that lived here as a bathroom. We removed the bathtub. We had to pull it out of plaster that was mounted over the old bathtub. We ran all new plumbing, put in subway tile, paint, new toilet, granite, a nice vanity, and of course, great lighting and a mirror. I'm super impressed with this bathroom because it was so terrible and to stand in here now with absolutely no odor, no bugs, and it's just brand new and beautiful. One of my favorite parts about this house was redesigning the kitchen. One of the biggest problems with these older homes is that they don't have enough cabinet and storage space. So I wanted to open it up and put in a ton of cabinets and really modernize everything. So take a look at these brand new cabinets with a brand new island, granite countertops. We put a built-in desk over there and plenty of pantry space on the left and on the right. We made this kitchen not only modern, but more functional. There's tons of storage space with soft closed doors and cabinets. We modernized the lighting by putting can lights and these pendant lights here. And then one of the issues that we had is this took so long that the pricing for the floor that I had originally picked out was three times higher. So I had to pivot and pick a different floor. This particular floor that I chose is more on the brown side and the other one was on the gray side. So to tie all that in, I added a backsplash here with plenty of, of brown in it to bring it all together. So brand new appliances here, all updated and built in. And uh, this is my favorite room. I think it's open and it's very inviting and it's a great place for entertaining. We added this pass through here, kind of a butler room. And this next room over here used to be the Florida room or sun room as some people call it. What I did is I turned it into a dining room. We are in the new dining room, the former Florida room. If you remember correctly, this was just windows and it had a ton of animal cages below it. So what I wanted to do is really open it up to this nice huge backyard that has a uh, plenty of grilling area. So I added a double French doors and I also wanted to keep the shelving that was there, but I wanted to clean it up and modernize it. So we put kind of wood paneling on the back of it added plenty of uh, baseboards, new window treatments, and I really love these pendant lights. Really kind of modernizes everything in this house and ties it all in. If you remember correctly, leaving this dining room slash Florida room, this was a storage room behind this door here. What we did is turned it into a new master bedroom with a giant walk-in closet and a brand new huge master bath. Follow me. So I'm standing in the new master bedroom. I love this room because we took it from a crappy old storage room and we made it a really awesome ensuite. 
um, with a walk-in closet and a giant bathroom. So if you remember correctly, this ceiling used to be a dark brown, which really dated it. But I wanted to keep it because I liked the grooving of it instead of just putting drywall. So what we did is we just put a million coats of paint on it. And I think it came out pretty cool because it's got a little bit of design to it. We added another air conditioning, plenty of window treatments. We put crown molding in this room and of course the uh, tall baseboards. But I really like this walk-in closet because it's huge. So this used to have the really dated paneling walls. So what we did is we painted over all that and we added some racks and it's huge absolutely enormous closet with plenty of natural light as well. So after we were done cleaning that part of the house, if you remember this door back here comes in from outside in the carport area, we had to squeeze in because there was tons and tons of items here. And this room behind this wall used to be the laundry room and it was stacked to the ceiling with trash. It wasn't even usable. So we turned that into a giant master bathroom. Come take a look. So I'm standing where the washer and dryer used to be located. We took all that out, we moved the water line, and we made a giant walk-in shower here with a rain head on it. It's really, really, really large. So we put some decorative tile in here to bring it all together. And then of course the white tile and the black grout to match. Um, we added of course a brand new vanity, double vanity and a new toilet, new mirror and new lighting. So this is actually now a real master bedroom. So this house used to be two bedroom, a one bath, and now it's a three bedroom, two bath. So I hope you guys enjoyed the big reveal of the Pet Cemetery house, but I can't end the video now. I've got to tell you about all the setbacks and the reason why it's taken so long. So we started this project back in July of 2019. Everything was going great, kind of. We found a lot of stuff, but we had a massive roach problem. We did 32 bombs, hired pest control. We took care of that. So once the renovation started, one of the first things we did was put on a brand new roof. We hired a licensed roofing company. They came in and they put this beautiful metal roof on the house and on the exterior she shed uh, out back. Well, when the city or county came to sign off on the roof, they noticed that a separate permit was not pulled for the she shed. Um, I guess as a licensed roofer, you should probably know that that's a requirement. So the county shut down the job find that roofer and made him pull that permit. Well, that delayed us about three months. Nothing works quickly with government. So once we started back up again, uh, it was in December. The electricians came in, were finishing running the wire. Plumbing came in and discovered that not only do we need to do new plumbing on the inside of the house, but we need to replace all the plumbing all the way out to the street. So that was a big expense that wasn't anticipated. So we ha that added another couple weeks onto our work. The electrician kept going back and forth and back and forth. So here we are, April 12th of 2020. We were supposed to be finished the week before Thanksgiving, and we just had our last inspection a couple days ago, and they told us that the electricians, again, uh, missed a GFI in the master bathroom and a GFI for the new washer and dryer location. So we still do not have a permit. We are uh, getting that fixed this weekend, so we should have it hopefully this coming week. But um, the house is ready to be uh, on the market, just a couple little things left. And uh, the landscaping I'll show you has been completely cleaned up. It was absolutely overgrown. There was so much stuff back there. We ended up uh, putting a new roof on the she shed and then painting the interior of it. Uh, my original plan is I wanted to finish that. And because we went so much over budget, we're just gonna leave it as storage right now. I also wanted to finish the garage and enclose it and make it an actual two car garage. 
but because we went so much over on budget, that's gonna have to wait right now. I hope you really like the transformation. It was a super frustrating project, but it goes to show you that uh, there's so many unknowns whenever you're renovating a house. Uh, and this was a giant undertaking for all of us, not only the, the rehab part of it, but the cleanup was, was huge as well. We pulled about 26 tons of trash out of this little 1,650 square foot house. So it's a fantastic neighborhood right down the street from a lake, a uh, giant lake. So um, I'm super happy with it and I'm proud of, of the work that was done despite all of the setbacks. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode. That's it guys, on to the next.